You've been looking at the relapsed refractory setting multiple myeloma. What was it you particularly wanted to investigate? So at this meeting, we've seen an update on a clinical trial that was called Endeavour. Endeavour took patients who had had one to three prior relapses and randomized them, very large study, over 900 patients, to receive the standard of care bortezomib dexamethasone or the investigational arm, which was carfilzomib at relatively high doses, 56 milligrams per meter squared, along with dexamethasone. Okay, uh, so what did you do in the study? How many patients did you have? There was, about, you there was over 900 it? patients randomized. Uh, it's one of the largest uh, randomized controlled trials in multiple myeloma to date. And it was a direct head-to-head -head comparison of bortezomib, which is well known to our community, and carfilzomib, which is still in the regulatory approval processes in many countries. Right, so two proteasome inhibitors, what happened? So uh, the carfilzomib containing arm uh, dominated and outperformed the bortezomib containing arm. Progression-free survival was almost doubled from nine, over nine months to over 18 months for the carfilzomib treated patients, which I think uh, was an even better performance than most of us expected. Toxicity was really uh, not a big issue. There is a slight increase in toxicity in the carfilzomib arm, uh, given at that dose compared to bortezomib, but there is no neuropathy with this drug, which is a major advantage. Depth of response was higher, overall response rate was higher, and as we've already said, PFS, and uh, time without therapy was, was better with the carfilzomib arm. It sounds as if we ought to be seeing something about a change in overall survival. Was there any? Uh, not at this stage. That is too early to look for overall survival advantage at this point, and so we don't have data on that. We'll have to look at that and report that in subsequent years. Right, so what are the clinical implications coming out of this, do you think? Well, the clinical implication is that most patients at diagnosis receive bortezomib today, and when they relapse, the question was, do you go back to that drug or do you use carfilzomib? a novel proteasome inhibitor, and the answer to this trial is definitively carfilzomib is the drug of choice in this situation. Now there are other drugs, as you know, that have just recently been approved by the FDA in the United States and, and soon elsewhere that have to be built into this mix, but for cost and economic reasons as well as convenience, use of a doublet therapy where there's only one expensive drug, such as carfilzomib, has been shown in this trial to probably be equivalent to most of the triplet therapies using new drugs. Okay, what about earlier in the disease then? Do you think this proteasome inhibitor could be used elsewhere? Carfilzomib has already been studied in newly diagnosed patients in phase two clinical trials with very impressive results, but it's not approved in that indication yet and it has not uh, been subject to randomized phase three trials, but those are now underway. So what's the bottom line coming out of your announcement here at the American Society of Hematology for doctors? The bottom of line is the doublet therapy of carfilzomib dexamethasone at one to three prior relapses is really the proteasome inhibitor of choice.